Chapter 4 Environmental Management Ecosystem A Review Ecosystem is formed by biotic and abiotic factors and their interactions with each other. Each factor plays very important role in the ecosystem. Producers like plants are very important. Herbivores such as sheep, cattle etc. feeding upon producers is also important. Predators like lion and tiger which prevent the overpopulation of herbivores are also equally important. A question may arise in our mind that whether the caterpillars found in nature, organisms present in filthy places, termites, insects present in dung are really useful. However, those organisms are also important though they are dirty. They are responsible for cleaning the environment. It means that our existence is due to these factors present around us. Hence, we should care for these factors. Following is the chart showing biotic and abiotic factors. Ecosystem is formed by abiotic components and biotic components. Abiotic components can be of two types. That is, physical factors and chemical factors. Physical factors includes air, water, vapor, minerals, soil, sunlight, whereas chemical factors include pH, oxygen, carbon dioxide, nitrogen, etc. Chemical factors further divide into two categories, that is, inorganic substances and organic substances. Inorganic substances includes hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, calcium, iron, sodium, potassium, whereas organic substances includes proteins, carbohydrates, fats, etc. Biotic components are either autotrophic or heterotrophic. Autotrophic includes producer, which are plants. Heterotrophic may be consumers that are animals or decomposers, that is, microbes. Animals can be primary consumers, secondary consumers and tertiary consumers. Paddy is cultivated on large scale in various states of South India. Paddy fields are frequently attacked by grasshoppers. Similarly, frogs are also present in large number in the mud of paddy fields to feed upon grasshoppers and snakes are also present therein to feed upon their favorite food, frogs. Relationship between environment and ecosystem. What is environment? Environment is a broad concept. Physical, chemical and biological factors affecting the living organisms in any possible way is collectively called as environment. In short, environment is the condition in surrounding. It includes many biotic, abiotic, natural and artificial factors. There are two main types of environment. One is natural environment and the other is artificial environment. Basically, environment consists of two basic factors. One, biotic factors. Two, abiotic factors. The science that deals with the study of interactions between biotic and abiotic factors of the environment is called as ecology. Basic functional unit used to study the ecology is called as ecosystem. Environment consists of many ecosystems. We have studied some ecosystems in earlier classes. A small pond is an ecosystem, whereas the earth is largest ecosystem. In brief, biotic and abiotic factors occupying a definite geographical area and their interactions collectively constitute the ecosystem. Environmental balance is maintained through continuous operation of various natural cycles like water cycle, carbon cycle, gaseous cycles like nitrogen cycle, oxygen cycle, etc. Environmental balance is also maintained due to various food chains of ecosystem. Factors affecting environment When some natural factors of environment and some artificial polluted factors harm the environment, it creates imbalance between various factors of the environment 
and ultimately affects the existence of biotic factors. At present, many environmental problems have been arisen due to effect of various natural and artificial factors on the earth. Environmental pollution is one of those main factors. Generally, contamination of any material is its pollution. Unnecessary and unacceptable change in the surrounding environment due to natural events or human activities is called as environmental pollution. That is, direct or indirect changes in physical, chemical and biological properties of air, water and soil, which will be harmful to human and other living beings as environmental pollution. Various reasons like population explosion, fast industrialization and indiscriminate use of natural resources, deforestation and unplanned urbanization are responsible for environmental pollution. Pollution is a broad concept. Which are the types of pollution? Air, water, soil, thermal, light pollution are the types of pollution occur around us. Ultimate adverse effect of all these is on existence of all the living organisms. And out of this, environmental conservation has become the need of our. We have studied the air pollution, water pollution and soil pollution in detail in earlier classes. Need of environmental conservation General public is not aware about the rules of environmental conservation. There should be large-scale participation of the people in environment conservation. It will be possible to answer the environmental problems only if environmental protection conservation becomes an effective public movement. For this purpose, values like positive attitude and affection towards environment, knowledge about it, etc. should be inculcated among the children since their childhood. This will help to make the future generations more aware about environmental conservation and protection. So as to achieve this, it is necessary to increase the awareness through education. Today, all the developed, developing and underdeveloped countries have accepted the responsibility of environmental protection. Their efforts are in that direction. They have defined the future plans about environmental protection and have constituted the necessary laws. Laws enacted about environmental conservation Forest Conservation Act 1980 The land reserved for forest conservation has been prohibited to use for any other purpose by this law. Ex-permission of central government is compulsory for mining activities. Any person who disobeys this law is entitled to imprisonment for 15 days. Environmental Conservation Act 1986 Purpose of this act is to control the pollution and punish the persons or institutes harming the environment. Any person or factory is prohibited by this act from releasing the pollutants in atmosphere beyond a permissible limit. The person breaching this rule is entitled for either 5-year imprisonment or fine up to rupees 1 lakh. National Green Tribunal has been established in 2010 for effective implementation of environment-related laws. It is necessary to remember that. As per Wildlife Protection Act 1972, as per Clause 49A, trading of rare animals has been completely banned. As per Clause 49B, use of articles prepared from skin or organs of wild animals has been banned. As per Clause 49C, Disclosure of the stock of artifacts made from rare wild animals is compulsory. The Big Story of a Small Man Jada Molai Peyang is a highly capable person born in nomadic tribe of Assam. Born in 1963, he is working as a forest worker since the age of 16 years. Once, large number of snakes died in the flood of Brahmaputra River flowing by the village. As a preventive measure, Molai planted 20 bamboo plantlets. In 1979, the local social forestry department 
began a social afforestation project on 200 hectares of land. Molai was one of the few forest workers who were looking after that project. Molai continued to plant the trees even after completion of the project. As a result of his continuous work of planting and caring for the trees, the barren area witnessed the forest cover over the 1360 acres. Today, this jungle in Kokila Mokov, Jorhat district of Assam is the result of the hard work for 30 years. He has been awarded with the prestigious Padma Shri Award by Government of India for this unparalleled work. Now, it is well known as Molai Jungle. Many people come together to destroy the forest. But a single person, if determined, can establish a new forest. Environmental Conservation and Biodiversity Most harmful effect of the environmental pollution occurs on the living organisms. Have you seen some examples of this in your area? Our living world had been richly diverse. It consisted of varieties of plants and animals. However, we are not able to see some specific animals about which we had listened from our earlier generations. Who is responsible for this? Biodiversity is the richness of living organisms in nature due to presence of varieties of organisms, ecosystems and genetic variations within a species. Biodiversity occurs at three different levels. Genetic diversity Occurrence of diversity among the organisms of same species is genetic diversity. Example, each human being is different from other. Possibility of wiping out the species arises if there is decrease in the diversity within the species whose members involve in sexual reproduction. Species diversity Innumerable species of organisms occur in the nature. This is called as species diversity. Species diversity includes various types of plants, animals and microbes. Ecosystem diversity Many ecosystems are present in each region. Ecosystem is formed through the interaction between plants, animals, their habitat and changes in the environment. Each ecosystem has its own characteristic animals, plants, microbes and abiotic factors. Ecosystems are also of two types, are natural and artificial. Sacred Groves The forest conserved in the name of God and considered to be sacred is called as sacred grove. These are in fact sanctuaries conserved by the society and not by the government forest department. As it has been conserved in the name of God, it has special protection. These clusters of thick forests are present not only in Western Ghats of India, but in the entire country. More than 13,000 sacred groves have been reported in India. Where are such sacred groves in Maharashtra? Make a list and visit with your teachers. These are some symbols used for environment conservation. Use dustbin. Green energy. Save fuel. Save water. How can biodiversity be conserved? Protecting the rare species of organisms. Establishing national parks and sanctuaries. Declaring some regions as bioreserves. Projects for conservation of special species. Conserving all plants and animals. Observing the rules. Maintaining record of traditional knowledge. Role of the person for conserving environment My role in environment Conservation Conserving the available resources Control Preventing the harm Stopping the harmful activities Changing the mindset Production Revival of harmed factors of environment Attempting innovation Awareness Education Guidance, Awareness, Imitation, Organization, Participation Preservation, Preserving whatever has been left over Remedies to prevent further loss Preserving unknown regions Hotspots of Biodiversity 
highly sensitive biodiversity spots are reported all over the world. Such areas had once occupied 15.7% area of the earth. At present, 86% of the sensitive areas are already destroyed. Presently, only 2.3% area of the earth has been left over with sensitive spots. It includes 1,50,000 plant species, which are 50% of the world count. As far as India is considered, out of 135 species of animals, 85 species are found in the jungles of eastern region. About 1500 endemic plant species are found in Western Ghat. Out of the total plant species in the entire world, 50,000 are endemic. Collect more information about locations of these hotspots present in the world. 3 Endangered Heritage Places The Western Ghat spread over the states of Gujarat, Maharashtra, Goa, Tamil Nadu and Kerala has been endangered due to mining industry and search for natural gas. Habitats of Asiatic lion and wild bison of this region have been under threat. Manas Sanctuary of the Assam is under threat due to dams and indiscriminate use of water. Tiger and rhino of that region are under threat. Sundarban Sanctuary of West Bengal is reserved for tigers. However, the tiger population and overall local environment is seriously challenged by dams, deforestation, excessive fishing, trenches dug for same, etc. Classification of Threatened Species Endangered Species Either number of these organisms is declined or their habitat is shrunk to such an extent that they can be extinct in the near future if conservative measures are not implemented. Example Lion-tailed monkey, lesser florican, rare species. Number of these organisms is considerably declined. Organisms of these species being endemic may become extinct very fast. Example, red panda, musk deer. Vulnerable species. Number of these organisms is extremely less and continues to decline. Continuous decline in their number is worrisome reason. Example Tiger, Lion Indeterminate species These organisms appear to be endangered but due to their some behavioral habits like shyness, there is no definite and substantial information. Example Giant Squirrel, Shekru World Biodiversity Day 22nd May is the World Biodiversity Day.